It's all about uh, Frankel's return in the locking stakes, unbeaten, unbeatable, but not on Saturday. Well, he's just, I've just got this, you know, this feeling that, you know, it's celebration. If he's going to beat him, he's going to be today. I think Aidan O'Brien's in running at the camera. It's very impressive that day. First run for him since joining him from Marco Botti. Nothing against Marco Botti, but he's gone to Aidan O'Brien, probably the best training we've seen in the last decade. I think you agree with that. Probably the most group one wins from a European trainer. He looked, he looked magnificent at the Carrow, didn't he, when he won? Mm -hmm. He beat nothing, but he's given them penalties. And he's obviously trained him for this race and obviously trained him to beat Frankel. He's not ducked him. He's trained him to, to, you know, to meet Frankel first time. And again, Frankel's had that setback. He hasn't run for a long time. If he's going to get beat, it's going to get beat here, isn't he? This is where it's Frankel we're talking about. I oh, know, but everything's a price drop, is it? Every, you know, most horses get beaten all the time, don't they? Um, you know, you see the stars got beat first time. Dancing Brave got beaten. Uh, but you're not looking for value in this race, are you? I am looking at value in every race, Rob. I, I'd rather back in celebration at 7 to 2 on than Frankel at 4 to 9. Yeah. First time up. He beat Acceleration. It's not really a race to bet in, though, is it? I think, I think Acceleration is a, you know, a cracking bet against him. I think he's a proper Group 1 horse, Acceleration. I mean, he's. You know, he may, he's may have improved going to Aidan. He ain't got that much to find with Frank. He hasn't been beaten that far by him, has he? Well, he's not got within two lengths in three starts, has he? Well, two lengths. He's, you know, he got beat two lengths in the um, oh, two lengths in the Greenham. What if he's improved two lengths? You're not saying he couldn't have improved two lengths from going from from Botty to O'Brien. He might well have done, but Frank and he's had well the have run. improved as well. No, I'm not, I'm not saying he hasn't. I mean, Frank. I think was, sometimes, well, if you put a gun at me, and say who's going to win? I'd yeah. obviously say Frank. Yeah. But, you know, everyone's going to sit here and sit Frank all four to nine, you know, aren't they? There'll be many more people. Everyone's going to be tipping Frank all the odds on Charlie's. I don't think at four to nine. For an horse who's had a setback, you know, we've not seen him on the race course go and do it. And at four to nine, you want a lot of things in your favour at four to nine. And I think his celebration is a proper horse, been trained for the race by Aidan O'Brien. I think the pacemaker, bullet train, a help his celebration just as much as Frankel. And he's had the run. This is his, when everyone says, like, this is his derby. I mean, I was up at York and we were in fencing at Magnificent the Pat. That was his derby. You know, absolutely trained to the minute for that race. And O'Brien's obviously gone out of his way to try and beat Frankel, isn't he? And I was just thinking, seven to two first time with the run under the belt. Mm. He, yeah, I, I think he's a proper player. He's not, I say, two lengths. He's got two lengths to find. Are you going to back him? Yes, I've backed him. You have backed <laughs> yeah, him? Yeah. I've backed him. I've done him a couple of each where he dabbles with a few other horses as well. You've always quite liked that celebration. I remember you, you oh, quite liked him last year as well. Oh, I one of the biggest bets of the season on him when the, um, uh, when he, uh, without Frankel in the, in the QE2. Mm. You know, two to one, I think he went off even money that day to beat the Frenches and all that. And he's a good horse. And then, you know, Cornwall don't go and buy bad horses. Mm -hmm. You know, you take, I mean, it's always a good thing to say, you take Franco out, he wins everything last year. And I think, again, Gano, O'Brien and that, he's had that run, that's the clincher for me. Mm. It might just be physically with Franco, it just might be a bit mentally as well. He was, least, he was least impressive last year in the Greenham, wasn't he? Yeah. First time up. Yeah. So if you're going to get him beat, now's the time. He you asked yourself, would you have had a you had 20 quid in your hand, would you go and back Imagine it? Imagine he wasn't that impressive at Ascot, was he? But then again, he wasn't. So oh, that was, was a, that was a poor, poor ride, ride yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we forget. And of course, at celebration that they fell out of the stalls and lost all chance at the stalls, if you remember, mm. when he finished third. So, yeah, I, I, I think it's a good, I think it'd be a better... He might even get bigger at celebration. If the real heavy hitters come in for him, you know, like celebration goes out. Well, it's going to be interesting, nonetheless. I'm, you know, I don't think it's particularly a race to have a bet in, but let's hope Frankel succeeds, unless you've backed at celebration, of course.